jury. Um, and if we think he's been brave uh, at the end of it, uh, we might do a, a quick clap a meter and see if he's passed his brave challenge and gets his reward. Uh, Dash, you have four minutes, and he's going to come over here to click. You're going to tell me what you're doing. Okay, so the, the challenge wasn't just 100% compliance, it was 100% compliance in timesheets. So um, this is my challenge, I've got four minutes to do it. Uh, my idea is called straight from the horses now. So I've been challenged um, to come up with, uh, with this idea to get us all 100% compliance in timesheets, which I don't think any business has probably been able to nail, so I'm going to give it a crack. Um, okay, so the challenge is that timesheets are currently seen as the ticket to a bonus, even though bonuses aren't guaranteed each year. The effects of not doing timesheets is unseen by individuals at the moment. We don't see individually how our individual timesheet contributes to the overall business. There's no punishment for doing them and therefore there's no accountability. There's no slap on the wrist um, if you don't do them. So the challenge is to make individuals more accountable for their timesheets. The insight is that people don't really care how their individual timesheets impact on the business um, because they're not individually accountable. My insight is that people would care more about their timesheets if they actually understood how their individual timesheet or the individual importance um, or the importance of doing them and if they're actually accountable. So at the moment, timesheets are a bit boring. They're at the, at the bottom of the list. As soon as it pops up on your computer, you just, just get rid of it. Um, so it's just the idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Um, you laugh because it is true. Um, but first, what I wanted to do was take a quick lesson from, from the book with Dave Green and just give you really quickly the top five reasons why they are actually important. <laughs> so, why timesheets are important? They justify our fees as a service company. Uh, they serve as a negotiating tool with our clients uh, when it comes up from the efficient and for reviews and ongoing. Uh, they determine agency efficiency and profitability. We've seen Paige talk about the numbers so far. This contributes to that. Um, perform head hour calculations <coughs> and plan resources properly. Um, so this is taken from um, from Reed's client deck. Right, so my strategy is to get everyone at MediaCom who see timesheets as a ticket to their bonus, even though bonuses aren't guaranteed each year, into the habit of accurately completing their timesheets by using social facilitation theory to make people more accountable for their timesheets. Now what this means is basically that people will perform better and they'll uh, complete simple tasks better in a group. Um, because of it, it creates a, a, an atmosphere of evaluation. They're more likely to do it if they're in a group. So my <coughs> idea is called Straight from the Horse of Mouth, and this is how it works. So this whole thing is about accountability. One, in, one person out of 280 not completing their timesheet isn't currently accountable. That's what it looks like, yeah? <laughs> but one person out of 10 is. So my idea is that we all get into groups of 10 from around the agency each month, and we operate as a group. What we'll do is we'll work um, each month as a team to work towards getting 100% of timesheet compliance. Each member is, com is more compelled using this uh, social facilitation theory. They're more compelled to do their timesheets because of their accountability to the group. So if you do well, the group does well. At the end of the month, each team member sees what one month work uh, one month work, um, sees one month of their virtual bonus. So bonus is not guaranteed. It's just that the three years like that. So they can see what one month of their virtual bonus look like. So you're actually working towards it. One minute. So the whole idea is taking timesheets out of being this ninja thing and actually turning it better together. Um, by, by operating in these teams. You're probably asking, well, what happens if the team doesn't get 100% compliance? And in true brave um, fashion, I'm, I'm giving you guys two options. I can give you the easy option, or I can give you the brave one. Paige, I'm going to let you choose. Right. Great. <laughs> Excellent. Because I really want to just get this up in front of the whole <laughs> virtually lost and he'll invest it into one of his passion cards. So he'll make him money. <laughs> 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 yeah. So each month Ted will 
uh, back one of his horses with this money lost and share the winnings with those who have 100% compliance in their timesheets. <laughs> <laughs> So in summary, we want to get everyone at MediaCom who sees timesheets as a ticket to their bonus to make people accountable for their timesheets by working together as a team and true better together slide.
Would it surprise you? So in, in 2005 in the States, five people from Oval Group made them. So in our group, um, we're in the High Court in, 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 in New York, she falsified the timesheets. Three of those people ended up in prison. So in terms of accuracy, thinking about it, one email, one email was written that said, uh, don't worry, the client budget is down, but I'll find a way to get the budget set So I lifted all of the prayers up. Sam, you're not dragging heads out. Was the brief about accuracy or was it about compliance? It's what, what is compliance? Yeah, but I just feel like. Yeah, but he's saying that he's compliant with doing it, but doing it is that it's not being compliant. There's no point to it Because I think it's really. It's I agree with you completely, but I feel like. He's tough. How to get people to at least do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's one thing we can all do. <laughs> <laughs>